Question number three taken from June 2014, advanced level maths, HSC P3. The parametric equations of a curve are x is equal to uh, ln 2t plus 3. And also we have y is equal to 3t plus 2 over 2t plus 3. Okay. And um, what do we need to do now is find the gradient of the curve at the point where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so we're going to do this question now. Right. So what information do we have? We have uh, x is equal to ln 2t plus 3. And then we have y is equal to 3t plus 2 over 2t plus 3. Right, so what are we going to do? These, these are para parameters for parameter equations. First of all, we have to differentiate these two. So if I differentiate x, I'm going to get dx over dt is equal to 1, okay, over 2t plus 3. Differentiate the inside, you get 2, so times 2. So basically we're looking at 2 over 2t plus 3. That's the first differenti differentiation. We need to differentiate y. This is quotient rule. This is u and this is v. So I'm going to say u is equal to 3t plus 2. v is equal to 2t plus 3. So du is going to be 3 over dt and dv over dt is equal to 2 if you differentiate. So in order to be able to find the full differentiation, so VDU minus VDU, uh, VDU, VDU over DX minus VDU over DX from V squared. So 2T plus 3 times 3, 3 times 2T plus 3, minus these two, 2 times 3T plus 2, over V squared, 2T plus 3 to the square. Right, so 3 times 2 is 6T. Minus 2 times 3 is minus 60. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus, uh, minus, minus 2 times plus 2 is minus 4. Divided by 2t plus 3 to the square. So this one goes out. 9 minus 4 is 5. Over 2t plus 3 to the square. Now this is basically we're saying dy over dt. Okay. It crosses the y-axis. Okay, it crosses the y-axis. That means the y-axis is the line x is equal to zero. So what's going to happen? This is x. And if I'm going to say zero is equal to ln 2t plus 3. And hence, we can say 2t plus 3 is equal to if you remove the ln, you're going to get e to the power 0, which is 1. So 2t is equal to 1 minus 3. t is going to be minus 2 divided by 2. t is going to be minus 1. Now, how are we going to find dy by dx? We know that dy by dx, this is the gradient, and we've been told to find the gradient, is equal to dy by dt divided by dx over dt. So what is dy by dt? dy by dt, we found it's this. So 5 over 2t plus 3 to the square. Divide by dx over dt. It means that multiply by dt over dx. And what is dt over dx? Okay, so basically dt over dx is going to be 2t plus 3 over 2. So 2t plus 3 over 2. So this one goes out minus 1 here, so that's going to become 5 over 2 times 2t is, okay, you can just put in brackets, 2t plus 3. Now, for this one, we can, if we want to find the gradient, which is dy by dx, t is equal to minus 1, so we're going to replace t by minus 1. So we have 5 into 2 times, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 3. So, 5 over 2 minus 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So your gradient 
these five other two where the curve crosses the y-axis. Here we are.